or just stop me. I must have broke the internet there, cool Cena. Hey, Brad. Hey, guys. That Acuna just did it. Just shut everything down. That's the first time that I have ever had my video feed go completely black. That was that was uh that was bizarre to say the least. And hey Joe, how are you? So cool Cena, we will uh make sure those make their way into the pack for you. Cool Cena got an Acuna rookie card. Unbelievable. That was so awesome. I'm going to fight this all night. All right, cool scene. Let me get that ready for you. Well, that was a great way to start the evening for sure. Cool scene. You've been a, a faithful supporter of the channel. You've watched the videos. You've seen people try and try again to get that card. And I believe, Cool Cena, that was the first pack that you've ever got. And way to make that pay off. All right. So tonight's auction... Tonight's auction, as um, I've gone over with you guys, as I said, um, and this is going to be standard practice. How much update have I opened, or how, how much update has uh, Cool Cena opened? Because I believe that's Cool Cena's very first pack, and what a way to get started. Um, well, that, that's probably an unfair question. I've opened, uh, quite a bit. That was, it was one of the products that was still regular price when I got back into collecting. So, um, I don't know if that's a lot. The ratio, um, he, yeah, he definitely beat the odds. I would say out of a box, you get one. Um, yeah, out of fat packs, uh, significantly less. Probably, well, maybe one out of every, uh, I'd say, seven to ten, somewhere around there, is what at least I've seen. But it's different depending on, I guess, where you pick them up and then luck. I don't know. There's, It is what it is. <clears throat> okay, guys. Hey, Tony, how are you? Okay, guys. So here's the deal. Tonight, uh, we've got about 19 people in here. If you guys could smash that thumbs up button, that would be fantastic. The way that we're going to be doing things with auctions moving forward, and really this is in the interest of time um, and efficiency, and obviously uh, viewer engagement is extremely important in the auctions. Otherwise, they go on for too long, and they become kind of a turnoff because people aren't going to sit around and wait forever. So what's going to wind up happening is I'm going to start using the timer. Uh, when we only had a few cards going up for auction, it wasn't such a big deal. Now it is a big deal. So if this is something that you don't like, um, obviously uh, sending cards in is not something that is uh, forced upon you. So just take it into consideration if this is something you just vehemently disagree with and you don't think timers are good for auctions, then, uh, yeah, I, I maybe just hold on to the cards if, if you don't like it. I understand that, but I have to be able to make it through an evening uh, with relative speed. All right, so 
with that in mind, uh, we're going to do a minute, a minute 15. The 15 seconds is for lag. Remember, guys, these are my cards tonight. So I obviously have no motivation to cut the bids short. Obviously, the only person that would affect is me. Um, so it's just a matter of sticking to the timer. Play the play the you know lag game, should you? But if you wait till the end, you might miss out. If you bid against yourself, the high bid is the one that wins. So with that being said, 20 people in the house. I think that we are ready to roll. We've got a mixture of cards tonight. Timers are good unless they're expensive. Yeah, uh, James, I think I think that's a fair point, but um, I'm still going to be using the timer regardless. I can maybe set it for two minutes if something was exceptionally expensive. Um, what I've seen in the past, though, was we just kind of sit here for that last minute and uh, nobody says anything. So the first cards that are going up tonight are going to be a two card lot. It is an image variation and base. It is Mike Trout. Now these are the Independence Day slash Memorial Day slash Veterans Day variations. And it is the base along with its image variation card. So two Mike Trouts. You can see 170 and 170, meaning base and variation. Two Mike Trouts, and we're off. As always, try to keep the uh, the chat to a minimum during this minute. We're at three bucks, three bucks to breeze. Forty five seconds. And again, apologize for the silence, but once I start asking questions, the chat gets clogged up. Barry Kay's at four. Five to Terry. Fifteen seconds. Now we're in that lag kind of danger zone here. Okay. Terry at five. Congratulations to Trout's image variation and base. Okay, first one is in the books. Okay, next up. Next up, we've got a gold card out of 2018 tops. It is the Aaron Judge and Jose Altuve, a game for everyone. Just poor Altuve here. Aaron Judge gold card. Three to Tom. Cool Cena says Judge. That's what she said, Lewis. But yes, he's like 6'7", and Altuve's like 5'2". Barricade's at four. One, two, three, five. Yeah, almost one, two, three, four.
So Barry K got you at four in the lead. And Tom at four fifty. He got you. That was close. That was uh, that was about as close as you could get and still get it. To Cena. So cool Cena with the Judge Gold. Just so you know who that's from. So, Tom, very nice of you. Cool Cena. There you go. Okay, next up. <clears throat> next up, we got a slabbed. Juan Soto, PSA 9, Tops Living Set. Mint 9, Juan Soto. We're starting. Three bucks to Breeze. Five to Tom. I'm sorry, uh, Tom. Barry K has you. He's ahead on my screen at five. Six to Breeze. Then Tom. Jeez. So Tom, Breeze got you again on my screen. We're at 30 seconds. Eight bucks to Barry K. Twenty seconds. Nine to Tom. Ten seconds. Nine it is. So Tom, that's a nice. Nice Soto for the PC at nine bucks. One for every PSA point. A lot less lag, nice. And Michael Lynch, uh, for the auction cards, they send them to the address in the description. Yes, the P.O. box, uh, Michael Lynch. Okay, next up, at a 2019 Bowman, this is the Bowman Sterling Continuity Inserts, and this is Casey Mize. Casey Mize, at a 2019 Bowman Sterling I'm sorry, it's not out of Bowman Sterling. It's Bowman Sterling, the continuity set inside of Bowman. I believe these are about one per hobby box. Casey Mize Sterling continuity. Three to Barry K. Casey Mize, number seven on my uh, top 100 list. Barry K's in the lead at three. About 25 seconds to go. Here's the back. 
Four to Terry. Ten seconds left. Five seconds. Dunzo. So Terry at four. Sorry, guys. Remember, there's there's going to be lag. So four was the bid at the win. So, Terry, you get it for four. Okay, next up. Next up. We've got the Wander Franco top 100 out of Bowman. Wander Franco top 100 out of Bowman. And Tom, thank you. Appreciate uh, you mentioning the pace. I think it's a good pace. Five to Barry K. Thirty five seconds. Well, this was last year. He's number one this year. I think Vladdy was number one. Ten seconds to go. Barry's in the lead at five. Five fifty to James. Done. So James Palmer at five fifty. Congratulations, James. All right, cool, Cena. We'll still be here in uh, twenty minutes, I'm sure. It happens. That's how auctions work. Okay. Next up, here's a fun one. So this is a an X Fractor, the red, white, and blue. I know X Fractor is Tops lingo, but this is the Chase Strump red, white, and blue X Fractor out of Prism Draft, numbered out of ninety nine. So Chase Strump X Fractor numbered out of ninety nine. A big prospect card. I got uh, Barry K's at five. Yes to the Cubs question. And Alan, uh, Barry K had five on it. Twenty six seconds. Alan Smith at seven. It's a cool looking car. Barry K's at nine. We've got ten seconds, guys. If you haven't hit enter yet, you're probably gonna miss it. Barry K at nine. Congrats, Barry. Got that one. Nice strumpf card numbered out of 99. 
Nice to see it go to a Cubbies fan. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, here's another cool Cubbies card. And this one is out of 2011 update. If you guys know your uh, your Cubs or your Padres history, uh, you might know who had a rookie card in 2011 update. And it is Anthony Rizzo rookie card, all sorts of beautifully centered. And you know the drill. Minute 15. Five to Terry. Hey, grade worth. Oddballs at seven. Approaching 30 seconds. Twenty five seconds. Nine to Tom. Yeah, Brad, you might want to hit refresh. Fifteen seconds. Tom's still in the lead at nine. We're at ten seconds. And Tom with the Rizzo rookie. For nine bucks. Nice. It's a sweet, sweet looking card, too. It's like, looks like perfectly centered, Tom. So nice pick up there. Okay, next up. Next up, out of 2017 update, we've got an image variation of none other than George Brett. George Brett image variation, SP, call it what you will. It's an awesome card out of 17 tops update. Go time. Two to Oliver, five to Barry. Again, George Brett, image variation SP. Six to Terry, out of 2017 update. Seven to Barry K. Gotta love some George Brett cards. George Brett was a gamer for real. Ron James in at eight. Hey, Ron, how are you doing tonight? Nine to Barry K. You got about 15 seconds left. Ten seconds, guys. Five seconds. Two, one. Barry K takes it at nine. Sorry, Terry, the the buzzer had gone. Barry K at nine bucks. Can I get that to Paul C, please? I will do that for you, sir. That is an awesome gesture. I know that Paul C likes the uh, likes the George Brett cards. I'll make sure that he knows it's from you as well. So. Paul C. from Barry K. It's a great card too. I I pulled that one out of seventeen update myself, looking for a 
Well, looking for Matt Chapman, rookies, you guys probably could have guessed that one. <laughs> I'll have to uh, I'll have to look that one up. I just, I love watching him go nuts on the uh, the pine tar incident. All right, so this next one, another great prospect turned rookie out of uh, 2019 update. Anyway, it is Carter Keyboom, top 100 card out of 2019 Bowman. Carter Keyboom, top 100. The timer is running. Minute left to go. Two to Tom. 45 seconds. Three to Oliver. We got just under 30 seconds to go. Yeah, I mean he he was solid last year. 8 seconds to go. 5 seconds to go. Oliver's at 3. Oliver takes it at three. Sorry, James. Oliver. Oliver got you. And give it to Tom. Will do. So, Tom, you got yourself the Carter Key Boom anyway. Oliver, that was nice of you, sir. Yes, please. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'm going to switch up teams again. And sticking with the, uh, the rookie vibe, those of you that were... Uh, Watching the channel a while back, you may have remembered me pulling this card. This is a Fernando Tatis Jr., and it is, I, I want to call it a red wave, but it is a gorgeous red wave refractor rated rookie Tatis. Go. Three to Terry. Five to Ron. It, this was this was definitely the best thing I pulled that day. And it is a great looking kind of a wave style refractor. Four to Oliver. It's not numbered, uh, Michael Lynch. Seven to Mitch. But it's definitely not one you run across too often. Mitch in the lead at seven. Thirty seconds to go. We got Shane at nine. Fifteen seconds to go. Cool scene is back. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. 10 to Alan Scott getting his Padres on. Took it. Alan Scott for 10 at the buzzer. Well done, Alan. Congratulations, Alan. Got yourself a Tatis. I mean, really... Is that not a great looking refractor? I mean, come on.
All right. We're going Hall of Fame style. We're going gold. And we're going with big rookie card. And it is the Mike Soroka rookie debut gold. 2018. Barry, I saw in your video, you got your uh, Soroka foil. That was a gorgeous looking card. Six to Lewis. Seven to Jersey. And Allen. Yeah, these are all uh, my cards tonight. Ten to Ron. Fifty seconds, eleven to Lewis. Soroka, another one of those rookie cards that are coming out of 2018 update. I know we all look for look for Acuna and Soto, but there's a bunch of other dudes in there. Soroka being one of them. Lewis S in the lead at eleven, and we're at thirty seconds to go. Twenty seconds to go. So Terry, this is one of the other cards I pulled on my uh, my initial bulk buy of eighteen update. Eleven to Lewis. Twelve to Ron. Oh. Okay, admittedly, this is getting a little fun to watch these uh, last-second bids. As long as they come in ahead of time, we're good. Ron took it at 12 bucks. Congratulations, Ron. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again. First of all, I think it's fun and it's kind of it's kind of funny. Um, but just so you guys know, I'm gonna honor the timer. And the only one that would suffer from me not honoring it is me, because it would be my money that I'd be losing out on. So hopefully you guys can follow the logic of, you know, I'm trying to keep it fair. It just it is what it is. Okay, so the next card. This is this is one of those extra difficult to pull. And that's my that's my little Olivia there and her best buddy the kitty. Um so my uh shameless shameless show off dad, I know. So the next card also out of update and those of you familiar with the set know that this is not the ordinary insert. This is the blue variation Legends in the Making, Acuna, rookie card. Not the normal insert. It is the blue variation. And Todd starts off at 10. Todd, nice to see you, man. 2018 Acuna, rookie. Blue variation. Forty seconds, forty-ish seconds. Okay, now forty seconds. It's a nice looking card. There's the blue and then the black ones, and there's there's more, but I've never seen one pulled out of a pack myself. I've definitely not pulled anything beyond the black uh, myself out of those packs. And we're at twenty seconds to go. About 10 seconds, 18 update Acuna. I can, I'll auto, uh, you know what? That's a good question. I don't know if there are autograph versions of these. One second, gone. Todd Lou takes it. Todd Lou, congrats. Acuna rookie. And uh, uh, Barry, you had wisely pointed out that uh, 
when you guys get these, the the prices are written on it. So uh, you might want to be careful about uh, who sees <laughs> if if your uh, if your other half is around. You just have to come up with an interesting reason for that number. Here's a, a here's another card that a lot of you might not realize is out there. And uh another shameless plug about um Don Russ product lot number exactly. Now you're thinking. Okay, and this is this is a numbered card. American Pride that is Andrew Vaughn and it is numbered out of 999. That is an Andrew Vaughn Team USA card out of 2019 Don Russ. The number of people that bid on the card. So Andrew Vaughn, obviously big White Sox prospect. Nice looking numbered parallel there. Numbered at 999, Andrew Vaughn. Buck to James. Andrew Vaughn, number 21 on the list. Shane is at three. Legit top prospect. He's got cards in Bowman's Best and I think Bowman Draft as well. So Shane's at three. About 12 seconds for the Andrew Vaughn White Sox Prospect American Pride, number to 999. Five seconds. Three bucks to Shane. Congrats, Shane. Nice steal. We will be seeing YouTube videos as evidence in divorce court. <laughs> yeah, nice. Or when you starting your grading services, um, I'm gonna leave all the grading stuff up to Jonathan. Um, Jonathan's definitely got more of a handle on that than I do. All right, so now we're going legit, legit Hall of Fame SP. Image variation out of 2018 update. And I'm going to make a guess that many of you have not seen this card. 2018 update Hank Aaron. It is a great looking SP of none other than Hank Aaron. Got five to Ron in the lead. All three of you guys, they all kind of came in at the same time. Ron, you're at five. About 10 seconds to go. Three seconds. Ron takes it at five. Congrats, Ron. That's a great looking Hank Aaron card. Congratulations, Ron. And 
And this is going to be a fun card that I don't know if a lot of you have seen or maybe had as a kid. But the next one up, the next one up is, you guys probably going to remember this name from earlier this week. Derek Jeter, top prospects, and it is pretty. That's in the thing. Derek Jeter prospect card. 10 to Ron. Get out of there. 11 to Jersey. 12 to Ron. Uh, it's 14 upper deck. I don't know where that little piece of fuzz was. Ron's in the lead at 12, 35 seconds left. It's tough to find these without paper loss on them, but this one definitely does not disappoint. 20 seconds to go. Ten seconds. Ron's at twelve. Thirteen to Tom. Three seconds. Thirteen to Tom takes it. Congrats, Tom. Sorry, Jersey. The buzzer had gone off. Tom gets it at thirteen. Tom did Tom did sneak in there. He Tom's playing fair though, man. That's I guess that's how that's how it works. All right, next up. Another big name you guys all know. And uh whether I pronounce it wrong or right, you guys know who it is. It is Luis Robert, or Robert, as the networks say. Luis Robert, top 100 out of Bowman. Potential rookie of the year next year. And Terry's at three. They got him at number three on the list this year. So Terry's at three with 35 seconds to go. No clue, uh, Michael Lynch. Jonathan linked me to a video where I think he was talking about himself. Um, Obviously, he has an accent, so that would play into it. But every single announcer and commentator calls him Robert. But whatever. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, four to Barry K. Barry K at four. Barry playing the, the snipe game. Got it. Congrats, Barry. Playing catch up for a lot of stuff in my PC. I've got some cool things in here. I uh, I purposely purposely tried to not put stuff in that was like super high dollar, um, just because I feel like it's kind of fun to get to add a bunch of variety to your PC. 
So that's kind of the name of the game. And here's another fun one. And this is this is an SP. This is the image variation SP at a 2019 stadium club of Ken Griffey Jr. This is not the base card. This is an image variation SP. And those of you that know your stadium club should be able to kind of gauge the value of a stadium club SP. They are not easy to come by. And Ron's at eight. Who doesn't like the kid? Probably should have been a uh, unanimous first round Hall of Famer. Pretty darn close, though. Mitch is at 10, 35 to go, 30 seconds to go, Twenty seconds. Mitch in the lead at ten. Ten seconds left. Twelve to Shane. Three seconds. And Shane takes it at twelve. Congrats, Shane. Over there, oddball cards. You guys need to go check his channel out. He's getting some videos posted. Give him some likes. Give him some views. All right. Yeah, Tom, it's the problem with Stadium Club, right? Because everything looks like an SP. Everything looks like an SP, so you probably wouldn't notice it the first time. Shane uh, pulled probably a $100 uh, Tatis on his uh, one of his first videos, or maybe his first video. Okay, next card up. And uh, fortuitous timing here for Shane. It is... 2017 Chrome Cody Bellinger rookie card. This is the Cody Bellinger base rookie card, aka the one you want. Three to Terry. It's Cody B 2017 Tops Chrome update rookie card. Six to Jonathan H. Seven to Jersey. Eight to Shane. Nine to Ron. Ron's in the lead right now at nine. Ten seconds to go. Ron leading at nine. And Ron takes it for nine bucks. Nice pickup, Ron. Cody Bellinger rookie card. For nine doll hairs. Okay, next one to Jonathan. Ron will do. So, Jonathan, you're getting yourself a Cody B. Congratulations, and Ron, thank you very much, man. That was awesome of you.
All right. Next one up is a numbered Hall of Famer bat down. Ronald Acuna Jr. Numbered out of 500. It is a career stat. It is 552 slugging percentage. Acuna numbered to 500. I'm not lying, though. I mean, it, it's bat down. We can all see. Fifty seconds to go. Buck to Barry. Four to Oliver. Lewis says refresh. 20 seconds to go. Oliver, you're in the lead at four. Five to Barry K. Approaching 10 seconds. The lag danger zone. Six to James. Five seconds to go. Done. James at six. Congratulations, James. Get a numbered Acuna. Wife's family leaves at 3.30 a.m. I wish that on no one. Wow. Is that when you guys have to leave the house or is it like a super early kind of red eye? Okay, here is a met the dad of the guy who runs probe scene 123 cars on eBay. Huh. That's kind of interesting. I keep I I've bought several things from uh that probe scene Okay, so next up, another big prospect card. And Dwight, you might have been just in time for this next one. This is a Silver Ice Joey Bart out of 2019 Bowman Platinum. And Barry says he understands the bidding game, understands the timer. A real salesman. Yes, that's good and bad. 19, 19 Bowman Platinum. Three to Dwight for the Silver Ice Joey Bart. So sparkly. Fifteen seconds to go. Three fifty to James. Ten seconds. Five seconds. James again wins it at 350. Congrats, James. <laughs> Show me on this doll where he touched you. James, congratulations. Now, here's one that I honestly debated about throwing in there because I just think it's such a cool card. It is from 2013. 
Friendly Foes, Derek Jeter, Mike Trout out of Topps Heritage. Derek Jeter, Mike Trout on the same card. Six to Ron. That's a great looking card. So Ron's in the lead at six, and we're already at 45 seconds to go. Seven to Alan Smith. Oh, that's too bad, Jersey. Ten back to Ron. And we're approaching 25 seconds to go. Twelve seconds. Ron, you're in the lead at ten. Twelve to Jonathan H. And it's gone. Congrats, Jonathan, at twelve bucks. And give it to Ron. All right. Well, Ron, there you go. He got you back. Jonathan does not play around in the uh, reciprocation game. Jonathan, well done, sir. Pay payback is had. I somehow felt like that was coming. All right, let's go. What are we doing? I'll just try to stay somewhat in order here. Okay, here we go. So this is a rookie card. It is a Bowman Chrome rookie card of one of the best shortstops ever. That right there is Javi Baez, friends. That is a Javi Baez rookie card. Bowman Chrome style. Apparently playing second base at the time. Eight to Jonathan H. Oh, it's all sorts of nice. Thirty eight seconds. And eight bucks still the lead. We're at fifteen seconds. Eight seconds. And we're done. Oliver took it at nine. Swooped in there. Sorry, Tom. Oliver had it at nine bucks when the timer had gone. Congrats, Oliver. <laughs> Uh-oh. Wow, cool Cena. That's pretty that's that's a great story. Hot corner boxes. You never know what you're gonna get, right? Sorry, not sorry. All right. Here is another uh, Thought this guy was going to win the uh, batting title. 
Another great rookie, unfortunately, just on a team that he got overshadowed. But it is numbered out of 999, and it is none other than Jeff McNeil with a sweet, colossal patch card with the pinstripe. Jeff McNeil, rookie, pinstripe patch card. And five to Terry. Six to Jersey. Seven to Terry. Twenty three seconds. Five seconds. 750 to James. Done. James. Yep, that was McNeil. So James swoops in at 750. Congrats, James. James got it. And if uh, if Mrs. G is listening, she could swing by. All right. I'm thinking she might not be. Okay, next up, the reason that he was overshadowed is none other than Pete Alonzo and his first Bowman card. Pete Alonzo, first Bowman. Seven fifty twelve to Barry K. Twenty four seconds to go. Sorry, guys, I had to go grab something. Okay, Barry, I've got you in the lead at twelve. Thirteen to Jonathan H. Four seconds to go. Thirteen to Jonathan H. I feel like an umpire uh, watching first base, and I'm like listening for the pop of the glove and watching over here. So Jonathan H. at 13 bucks. Congratulations.
All right. Well, now you've got one to add to the set of early Alonzos. And here's another one. Now, perhaps this week, perhaps this week, we're going to do some throwback hunting. And it's going to be for guys just like this. One of the best pitchers of our time anyway. And it is a rookie card. And it is none other than Clayton Kershaw. Upper Deck Timeline Rookie. A little right to left. You guys can see that. Not presenting this as a PSA 10 by any means. But she pretty. 2008. 2008. Like okay, I so rookie. Trust me, if I'm if I'm gonna present it as a PSA ten, I'll let you know. Just a fun card for the PC. Eight seconds, ten bucks to Jonathan. Done. James just missed it by a hair. Jonathan. Ten doll hairs. I know you were going after some other Kershaw rookies. I have no... Uh, no real source on these upper deck boxes, so this is not going to be on the channel. So might as well get it to you. All right. There's another throwback card. Another throwback card from a current gigantic name. Uh oh, what happened? Michael Lynch. Okay, I'm not doing anything with that upper deck. That's You guys are talking about something else. All right, so the next one up, probably know this name. This is the 2015 Contenders, Aaron Judge from 2015. Rocking the Fresno State gear, Aaron Judge. Five to grade worthy, five to Ron, six to Ron. Ron, you're in the lead at six. Seven to grade worthy is in the lead right now at seven. We're under 30 seconds to go. Ron's at eight. Nine to grade worthy, ten to Ron. Ten seconds to go. Five seconds. Ron's in the lead at ten. Ron takes it at ten for the judge. Congrats, Ron. That's a cool Aaron Judge card from 2015. 
Congrats, Ron. Okay, here's another cool card. Uh, Ron says, nice, never seen that card before. Yeah, that made two of us. Uh, when I first saw it, I couldn't really place where it was. I just kind of knew I had to have it. Okay, now we saw one of these come out recently. Um, didn't really know where they came from beforehand, but it is one of the minis. Future of the Franchise, and it is a name you may be familiar with. He's kind of good. It is Christian Yelich, Future of the Franchise, out of Bowman. All sorts of miniature. Christian Yelich, Bowman, Future of the Franchise, 2013, Bowman. James says three. Thirty seconds to go. Five seconds. James is still at three. And James gets a yelly for three bucks. Congratulations, James. Okay. And Tom, thanks. I tried to... It's tough to put together an auction because obviously, you know, I know you guys and I know what you like. And so as I'm as I'm flipping through cards, I'm seeing like, let's say, Tom, in your case, I'm seeing Soto and Soto and Soto. And I'm I have to resist the urge to not put in, you know, 100 Juan Sotos and have you guys feel like I'm, you know, trying to target one guy to buy everything it's hard it's hard to i guess pace yourself and leave something in the tank for the next time around and now we're going to go old school rookie 1984 style And before, before you bid, I'm just going to make you aware. That's Donnie Baseball. And you will notice right here, there is a kind of a print line. Beyond that, though, sweet Donnie Baseball, 1984 Fleer to add to your collection. Ron is at 10 for the 84 Mattingly. Uh, Michael Lynch, will the next auction week be the Super Bowl? Yes, unfortunately, that is the uh, that is the day it falls on. If you guys want to push the auction back to um, 8 Eastern, we can do that. 20 seconds to go for the 84 Mattingly rookie. Ten seconds to go. Twenty-five. 
And Ron takes it for 10. Nice pickup. And Ron, Ron, before, before fully committed, you do understand there is that line in the card, right? I don't want you thinking you're getting a 10 from me and then being surprised. So, Ron, as long as you say you're good, I'm good. But uh, if you missed that comment, I don't want you feeling stuck with it. Okay, good. I'm pretty sure that I've mentioned to you guys in the past, right, like... When you guys send stuff in, I just take it out and sell it. I'm not going to get involved in the quality control aspect or uh, tossing out imaginary grades. When it's mine, obviously, I want you to know what you're getting. Okay, next up, one of the uh, big names from last night. And where is he? Number six on the list. Number one draft pick. Overall, it is Adley Rushman, Pink Firework Parallel. That is Adley Rushman, American Pride. Five to Tom. Seven to Alan Smith. So, Alan, you're in the lead with approaching 30 seconds. Ten seconds. Allen is at seven. Allen Smith takes it for seven. Congrats, Allen. Okay. Next one up. Next one up. It is your National League Rookie of the Year. And it is gold stamped 150th. It is the Pete Alonzo Home Run Derby Rookie Card. Gold stamped to 150. It's the 150 years gold stamp. Eight to Joe L. That sure is Alonzo, cool Cena. We're 25 seconds to go. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, one. Joe, congratulations. Joe L takes it for eight. Getting your Mets cards on tonight, Joe. Love it.
Congratulations, Joe. I I just love when you get like the big cards of players you like, and they got the uh, the nice uh, insignia. <laughs> Bidding against yourself, yeah. Hey, it works out. All right. I don't know who this card is going to appeal to because it could go a few different ways. Might be a Cubs fan. Might be a Yankees fan. Might just be a fan of cool cards. But it is Bowman, Chrome, Cubs, Glaber Torres. Five to Ron. Six to Ron. Sorry, Alan. Ron got you beat on my screen. 50 seconds to go. Glaber Torres rocking the Cubbies gear. Eight to grade worthy. So grade worthy still in the lead at eight. Twenty seconds to go. And we're at ten. Nine back to Ron. Six seconds to go. Two seconds. Got it. Ron. Ron, sorry, Matt. Ron had it at the buzzer. And Ron got it at nine. Zion, uh, is that a question, Terry? Or are you saying that he did have another great game? Because that is fantastic news. Okay, here's a... Bath time, bubble fun, rookie card. Oh, he's on right now. Hopefully he has a, a good game. Well, you guys know this name. One of the best up-and-coming rookies this year. It is Keston Hira. It is one of those, as I call it anyway, bath time, bubble fun, spectra, rookie, meaty, Numbered to 99. Keston Hira. Numbered to 99. I tried... I tried to not put a bunch of Yankees cards in there. Ron, if it makes you feel any better, I've got about 50 Yankees cards that I'm like trying to not put another Yankee card in there. Oliver, I got you at five. Five fifty to James, seven to Shane. Shane, Shane swoops in for seven. Congrats, Shane and Justin. Sorry, man, the buzzer had gone off. Shane took it at seven. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, do you guys want to, uh, and I can give that to Ron, I'm, I, I want to, 
I don't want to like uh, interject myself into it. I think Ron might have been referring to all the Yankees cards. But Ron, you're getting a Keston Hira. And I'll tell you what, let, let's do this just so I can bounce around. Do you guys want old school, new school, or different team? I'm, I'm going to put Ron on there. Shane, that's awesome, buddy. Thank you for doing that. I'll tell you what, I'll work something out if he uh, if he comes back and says uh, differently. So Shane, you won the last one. So Shane, how about you let me know, since you got the last one, new school, old school, specific requests? New team, new school. Okay. Here's one. Here's one we haven't done. Uh, I, I take that back. We did kind of. By new school, I take it we're meaning recent... Recent ish year stuff, right? All right, so I've got some like mid 80s kind of stuff, but here's a fun card. Here's a fun card that many people probably have not seen before. And this card is, it's another rookie card, another person who's been on some different teams. It is the Bowman Platinum Jason Hayward rookie card. Bowman Platinum Jason Hayward rookie card. Five to Shane. James got to go walk the dog. Twenty seconds. And and Terry's got to take off. All right, Terry, take it easy, man. And Shane, the Jason Hayward for a fiver. It's almost like I knew that. Almost. All right. So here is a new school. New 
New school, hard to get, and pretty much everybody likes this guy. At least cards, anyway. And that is... Oh, that's Wander Franco. And not just any Wander Franco. Wander Franco only available out of those exclusive holiday hobby packs. Wander... You don't even need to like the Rays to like Wander Franco. Jersey's at four. Jonathan's going to be right back as well. Forty seconds. Jersey's at four. Wander Franco, Bowman Holiday, Lewis at five. Barry K at six. Sorry, Jersey Barry's got you by fifty. Re, re, refresh. Six seconds. Six is the lead. And six bucks gets it done for Barry K, the Wander Franco holiday. Barry, that's a cool card. That it's nice that it's the same image as his first, uh, his first Bowman card. All right, cool. Cena, take it easy. Congrats on that, Acuna. Barry, what say you? Any any requests? New school? Old school? Cubs? Okay, Bowman Chrome, and not Chrome the set, but the Bowman Chrome out of Bowman. It is numbered out of 250, and it is Nico Horner, Bowman, Chrome. This is original Bowman, numbered out of 250. Asked. And answered, Barry. Nico Horner, right there for you. Five to Barry K. And Alan, you're at six. Barry Kay's back at seven. Yes, Brad, it is a beautiful Nico Horner 50. Lose to the lag, gentlemen. Eight bucks is the lead bid. Prepare yourself for the snipes. But don't bid against yourself because whatever you bid is what it is. Five seconds, nine to Barry K. Barry gets the Nico for nine. Congrats, Barry. I will say it, it is especially nice when the cards go to kind of who I thought would enjoy them.
it happens. Uh, but Barry, if it if it eases the blow at all, I've got some other unique and cool Cubs cards. Here. We'll give Cubs fans another chance. It's something... Something unique. Okay. Okay, this one is numbered to 99. Numbered to 99. And it is the Anthony 2014 Don Russ. 2014 Don Russ Anthony Rizzo press proof numbered to 99 Buck to Barry Twenty seconds. Three to Shane. Fifteen seconds. Two thousand fourteen Rizzo to ninety nine. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Three bucks. Three bucks to Shane. Sorry, Barry, the you know the drill by now. Congratulations, Shane. All right, here's one that you might not see too often. And it is the, I believe they call it lime green. And Shane says, I can give it to Barry. Well, Barry, <laughs> I was going to give it to you. Well, that I'm stuck in quite the conundrum right now. I'll tell you what, I will, I will give it to someone. It will be a surprise when it shows up. All right. Still from Chicago, just the, the other side of town. It is a rated rookie. It is a lime green parallel. It is beautiful. It is Eloy Jimenez, rated rookie. I believe it is considered lime green. There's some weird name for it, but that's an Eloy Jimenez rated rookie. Kevin Tan at a buck. Twenty 
20 seconds, two to Dwight. I guess we're not feeling Eloy tonight, huh? 350 to Alan Scott. Four seconds. 350 to Allen. Congrats, Allen. Cool uh, Eloy Jimenez rookie parallel there. It happens from time to time, Allen. No, uh, no worries. Enjoy the sweet deal. Okay, I'll give you guys a choice. Give you guys a choice. Braves, Nats, Padres, Rays. Braves, Nats, Padres, Rays. First one takes it. That's the card I put up. Padres first, then Nats. So this one, this one will have a reserve on it, but I'm pretty sure you'll understand why in a second. And one minute. Okay. It's weird while you talk no lag, but as soon as the card shows up, you get the lag. Well, that's unfortunate. All right, guys. So this would be, um, I'll kind of guinea pig this one a little bit. I'm going to add just 15 extra seconds because I actually feel like that's plenty of time. You want it or you don't is my kind of my mentality. So minute 30 for this one. And it is Fernando Tatis Jr. It is bat, bat, and sweet letter or number match numbered to 99. Fernando Tatis Jr. Bat and patch dual. Relic card. It is awesome. If, like me, you like the bat relics. 10 to Todd Lou. Fifty seconds. Twelve to Alan Scott, thirteen to Grade Worthy, fifteen to Oliver. Lagging like crazy. Don't like hearing that, but I can't do anything about it. Twenty-five seconds. Seventeen to Alan Scott. I think we all know the slippery slope I would go down if I stopped honoring the bids due to lag. It's the lag. It is what it is. I can't control it. You got ten seconds. And that'll do it. Allen. 17 bucks. I'll take it. Allen at 17. I know it's going to a good home. Congratulations, Allen.
You're welcome, Alan. And Shane says, I don't usually like relics, but I picked up a pool holes bat relic for cheap. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just like my kind of like boyhood kind of uh, amazement at that they shaved the bat down that thin. Um, I do a lot of carpentry work, so I can appreciate the veneer. I don't know what it is. I just love the look of bat relics. Um, one of the one of my favorite cards that I pulled this year, pulled myself, didn't buy, was a Mark McGuire, Reggie Jackson, and I think Chris Davis triple relic. Mark McGuire being the bat relic out of Heritage Low. Um, I'm just a sucker for bat relics. I think that they are just awesome looking. So, Alan, congrats. I know you're a huge Padres fan, so I'm sure you will enjoy that card. Okay, Nats. Nats was the second one. Nats was the one that was mentioned right after that. So um, I'm going Nats. And this one is, it is numbered. It's pretty much the biggest name on the Nats that you could ask for. It is numbered to 99. I believe it is called the Pandora's Box out of optic first off the line and that is Juan Soto that is the Juan Soto Pandora's box I, again I believe that's what this refractor is called Juan Soto Pandora's box first off the line numbered to 99 Brian Dozier no. Barry, I think I put a David Bodie like this in your Patreon package. Yes, Dwight, that you're not lying, man. If there was a Matt Chapman bat relic slash gold cup card, I'd be all over that. Okay, guys, we're at 30 seconds already for this Juan Soto, number to 99. Tom's at seven. That's the lead bid. We're at 25 seconds. Ten seconds. Oliver's at eight. That's the lead bid. Two seconds. Oliver. So, oh, man. Alan, sorry. It had already gone off. But Oliver got it at eight. Congratulations, Oliver. Nice Juan Soto numbered. Under 100. Okay, Oliver, thank you. Gore, I hear you picked up two bat relics today. Also got a one of one strawberry plate out of 2019. That's that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, Jersey. Congrats, especially when it's a player that you really like. Okay, somebody throw something out, and I will um, keep the cards relevant to what you guys want. I've got rookies. I've got kind of old school stuff. I've got autographs, cards you probably haven't seen before, variations. Alan, I've got, I don't have any Arias cards uh, in here, um, Todd. I, let me see if I have any twins cards, though. And I have a couple of paddocks, Alan. Um, I think the only problem that I have with Chris Paddock is that they're currently going for more than what I think a um, the auction would sustain. You know what I mean? And I've got a Mike Yastrzemski autograph out of Bowman, Alan. Uh, same problem. Mm -hmm. 
But Alan, if you're interested in a Chris Paddock, I'll tell you what, Alan, wait a second. Sorry to do this to you guys. Okay, so Alan, I just got this. So I think, you know, you could kind of see what Paddock is going for right now. You could see what a blue Chris Paddock auto is going for right now. Um, I, I don't, I don't really feel comfortable putting it in, in an auction, but if you if you ever feel like you want one, you you know a guy. Okay, but I do have a Twins card. I don't have a Raya's, but I have something close. It is, he's top 10 on the prospect list, and it's also numbered as requested, and it is out of Bowman. It is Royce Lewis, sky blue, numbered to 499. You guys know how tough these pulls are. It is Royce Lewis. I put it in there for you Twins fans. Royce Lewis, it is paper as well, which is even tougher to have nice. Todd Lewis at five. We're at 50 seconds. Royce Lewis, Sky Blue, 2019 Bowman, number to 499. And we're at 45 seconds, guys. Six to Oliver. Todd Lewis at seven. Todd Lou still in the lead, seven bucks, approaching 15 seconds to go. Eight back to Oliver. One second. Oliver goes to a Twins fan. It's going to be Todd or Oliver. Those are the two biggest Twins fans we've got. Oliver takes it at eight. Congrats. Congratulations, Oliver. And I had a few cards in here for Michael S. I didn't see him, uh, didn't see him tonight, so I won't. Toss them in there. Here's another cool card that might appeal to some of you. I felt like every time we got one, um, when we were looking through, what was it? Was it 2016? No, 2008 update. 2008 update. It was long ago. And this is 2008 Upper Deck Masterpiece Evan Longoria card. And if you know what these cards look like, they have like a canvas feel. And this is back when Upper Deck still had licensing. So it is a gorgeous looking card. Evan Longoria rookie card, 2008 Upper Deck. Three to Jonathan H. Fifty seconds to go.
And if you're not going to bid on this card, um, be thinking about maybe the next thing you guys might want to see. Eight seconds. Three fifty to James. Five to Jonathan H. Oh, Jonathan H. has got that good internet, James. That was close. So Jonathan, he got it at five. And um, I'd like to see more rookies of this era. Rookies are my Achilles heel. Slowing down even my Kopech. Uh-oh. Does that mean you don't want me to put a numbered uh, Michael Kopech in the auction, Jonathan? Uh, I, I hate to say it. I hate to say it out loud, um, Matt, but I, I feel like those cards are going for like in the 40s um, on eBay. So I'd want to look into it first. I never want to guess something because then I'm going to wind up sticking to whatever my guess was like a real idiot. Um, anyway, I hope you can un understand why I don't like just throwing guesses out. All right, so... So, Jonathan, you tell me if I'll put it in there if you want it. I will not put it in there if you don't want me to. All right. And here, I'll put something. Here, this will be. This is kind of universally appealing. I've got two cards. Uh, I'll do them separately, though. The first one. The first one was number one draft pick at the time, and uh, just this last year, it came to fruition. It's a rookie. It's a pitcher. He's a champion. It's Steven Strasburg, rookie card, Bowman Platinum, right there, gentlemen. And Barry, I'm glad you're having a good night, and I'm doubly glad that you seem to be feeling a lot better. Uh, it sucks being sick. Being sick for as long as you were is just, ugh. Eight to Jonathan H., ten to Barry K., Steven Strasburg, rookie card, gentlemen. 12 to Tom. And she purdy. Nicely centered. 2010. Number one. It's a nice looking card. You don't come across too often. 15 seconds. Tom's in the lead at 12. 13 to Barry K. Five seconds. Buzzer. Barry K. 13. Congrats, Barry. Steven Strasburg rookie card. He did. He got you.
Uh, Jersey, thank you. I am uh, trying to make you guys all have some sweeter collections. I know you guys got some great stuff at home. Okay, guys. Numbered, not numbered, rookie, old, new, prospect. We're doing pretty good. I don't know if you guys have noticed. Only two hours in. We've got about 30 people in the room, and we're moving through pretty quickly. Oliver says old, and I will take it. Anything Boggs or Mattingly? Um, I had Mattingly. That sold earlier. Uh, grade worthy. Okay, so this is one of those iconic cards. I do have a nice Soroka, uh, Lewis. I have a nice um, Mike Soroka. It's not a one of one, but I think you'll like it. I'll put that one up next, but it's a kind of a reserve card, which you'll see why. Just realize the sleeve is dirty. Come on, people. Get your act together. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, guys. So, iconic card. Rookie card, the sweetest womb broom you're ever going to see. Gregory Maddox, rated rookie, 1987, Don Russ. And Todd, have a good night, man. Four to James, the sweet porn stash. Yeah. James is at six and in the lead. And we're at 40 seconds. It's tough to find nice uh, 87 Don Russ that's centered very well. Tiger Eagle's in the house. James is at six, five seconds to go. Relic Nation at eight. So Tommy White steals it at eight bucks at the buzzer. Congratulations, Tommy. Nice looking and well centered Greg Maddox. And uh, you know who I'm talking to right now? Yes, I will take care of it. Oh, 
All right. Um, can I, uh, can I say that? PSA 10 must be rough. 13 bids, 98 bucks, still three days. Ooh. Either shoot me a text, say yes, or uh yes on the screen. If that's a uh, public or surprise. All right. Well, we know who the uh Now, see the warning. Uh, let me address a few questions. Um, Ron, uh, not not for the auction, but I'm growing my Brett collection, so I'd be interested in purchasing anything you may want to part with. Um, I had one. I'll show you. I had this that was coming up later, Ron, and then I'd have to dig through stuff. This is a... 2019 Silver Pack Black Mojo Refractor Brett Butler at a 199. Beyond that, um, I would have to see what else I have as far as um, George Brett's go. And then, Gore, am I still doing auctions without fee for people? Yes. We've had to streamline it a bit, Tiger Eagle, since uh, you were probably here last, but yes. Yeah, how do you not like that card, Alan? That's a great looking George Brett. Speaking speaking of which, I have 25 uh 2019 Top Series 2 silver silver packs. Okay. Um, I'm realizing now there might have been a the internet warning. Tom Edwards, you're getting the Strasburg rookie card, courtesy of none other than Cards for Days, Barry K. So, Tom, this is going to you. Sorry if the, the uh, internet decided to uh, go all circly on you at that time. Um, Tiger Eagle, yes. Uh, part of the streamlining, though, is that I'm only able to really take the $15.99 tiers and up and then in smaller amounts. So it's not... The way that it was before doesn't really work anymore. There's just too many people. And I bought that one on four flavors. Just need the gold in... Um, Alan Scott, um, I'm just, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm behind. Uh, put them in the auction. Which cards are we referring to? Or are you talk? Maybe you're talking to somebody else. I'm not real sure. I don't want to miss um, a comment. So if somebody can, uh, somebody can educate me on what we're talking about here. Yes, Shlaney, I have 25 2019 silver packs. George Brett, Black, Mojo, all sorts of awesome. Go time. Ten to Ron. Probably about seven fifty, Allen. I think they're about eight bucks on blowout right now. Let 
Mitch says, I was just talking about the George Brett card. So that's what I'm seeing. Ron, you're in the lead at 10. Perfect. Ron, you got it. And then, Ron, um, I'll see what I can do with other George Bretts, and then I'll just message you directly, and then you don't have to hassle with the uh, auction type stuff. Does that sound good? I know it's you and you and Paul, I think, both like George Brett. And thank you, sir. Here's another one. Another one of the prospect type cards that a lot of people don't know are out there. And that is the American Pride Collegiate National Team Josh Jung card. That is the Josh Jung Collegiate National Team. Josh Jung, another one of those big names coming out. We're at a minute. Two to James. Tiger Eagle's got to go. Tiger Eagle, it's glad to have you back in the mix, man. Glad to see you again. 40 seconds to go. James is at two. Jonathan's at four. Fifteen seconds to go. One second. Jonathan, four bucks. Sorry, Dwight. Jonathan had you at the buzzer still. So, Jonathan, I know you're building your uh, Josh Jung collection. Okay, well I can't I can't stop you, so only because his last name sounds Asian. That's all that matters, right? Especially when you're sorting cards. You know you loved it. All right. Well, Dwight, I think Dwight is uh, gonna foot the bill for that one, Jonathan. So do not send the money for that. Okay, so this is one that I said I would I would throw in there. Um, I am going to kind of put a reserve on it. And again, I think for obvious reasons, when you see it. Okay, here we go. Gonna be a Hall of Famer. You can see the name. 
but you probably don't know that picture. That's a Mike Soroka rookie image variation SP. Mike Soroka rookie image variation SP out of 18 update. 10 to Barry K. Twelve the jersey. I'm sure somebody knows what these go for. Jersey still in the lead at twelve, Lewis. We got fourteen now to Lewis. We've got to get to the Reserve at least. We're at almost 15. Tom is at the reserve. It's going to sell to someone. 10 seconds. 20 to Tommy White. Relic Nation's in the lead. Tommy White takes it at 20. Sorry, Lewis. Tommy White, nice pickup. That's a great looking card, is it not? The Mike Soroka image variation. Jonathan, you and I were talking about getting cards graded. This was like one of the ones that was kind of on my short list for maybe sending. Hall of Famer. Man, I I have this card that I wish uh, Michael P. was here. Because I know he would like to see this one. The Joey Votto rookie card. But I think he's kind of one of our only Reds guys. Let's do another card of a guy... Um, this being a card you don't see very often, though. This is pre-rookie, pre-rookie status, 2017, Juan Soto, Bowman Platinum. The timer's running. We are pre-rookie. Five to Barry K. We're at thirty seconds, guys. Seven to Tom. So Tom, you're in the lead. Three seconds to go. Tom, it goes to a good home. So Tom with a 2017 Juan Soto. Congratulations, Tom. Tom, with a hell of a night last night. I still can't get over last night. That, just, that had to have been just one of the craziest nights of cards. All right. Heard someone pulled a silver Zion. 
I heard I heard about that. I heard that that person called in, called into the radio station. Here's a fun one that might be a uh, might be a cool card for many of you. Some crazy guy. This is the Jackie Robinson gold patch card. It weighs about 15 pounds. You guys know there are Jackie Robinson patch cards with the number 42. This is the Jackie Robinson 150 years with the gold patch. Just a cool looking card. And we're already at 40 seconds. Thirty seconds on Jackie. Two to James. Twenty seconds. Five seconds. James gets the Jackie Robinson. It's a cool card. Not the most high dollar card in the world, obviously, but still a fun card. And obviously one of the most iconic players ever. Jackie Robinson. Uh-oh. They're going to have some trademark infringement going on with the uh, magic hands. tag so james two bucks all right in my head i had kind of planned on uh no more than two and a half hours which means we've got a few minutes left let me tell you what i have i got senzel i've got judge i've got Jordan, jeter Otani, Trout, Bo Bichette, Juan Soto. I got Ty Cobb, Bryant, Acuna, Baez, Bo Jackson, Schwarber, Guerrero, Baez again, Albies and Allard, Bellinger, Rookie, Robert, Maddox. Um... Jonathan, I I have your auction stuff, I guess, in my head. I thought we would kind of combine uh, your auction night, which um, you and I can decide which night sounds the best for you. It seemed like it would, it would be a good idea to do them at the same time. Um, but I, I will go grab the stuff right this second, uh, Jonathan, if you want to do it tonight. I think some of the people, I think some of the people that you had in there, I know they've already said good night. So you get the idea. All right, so here's a fun one. Well, we sold the Soroka, um, Lewis. We actually sold a few Sorokas. Okay, let me do, I'll do um, the Bo Jackson, and then I'll do the Mike Trout, and then I've got a cool, uh, a cool Clayton Kershaw to 99, I know you're, you're kind of feeling some Kershaw, but there's always next month, but right now, we will do, and check that card out, centered, looks great, Bo Jackson, 87 Donruss, rated rookie. If that's not an iconic Bo Jackson card, then I just don't know baseball cards anymore. Sorry, Lewis. 
The the Soroka did sell. Tommy White got it for twenty bucks. I do have a Mike Soroka and Tim Elk. Tim, where have you been? Um, Lewis, I have a Mike Soroka. I want to say it's an '83 style auto. Um, and then I've got a bunch of Mike Soroka rookie cards. So Lewis, um, maybe next time I roll around my auction, I'll throw some more Sorokas in there. But I had a gold rookie debut that sold tonight, and I had that image variation that sold tonight of Soroka. So I did try to put some Sorokas in there. I and mean, we're at 30 seconds now. Tim L's at eight bucks for a nice looking Bo Jackson. Run DMCs on the Grammys. Nice. Thirteen seconds. Five seconds. And Tim L gets it for eight bucks. Congrats, Tim. Get this taken care of real quick. Okay. All right, as promised, as promised, I would throw up Trout next, and this is one that I'm almost certain you haven't seen. This is out of a silver pack with the 87 style border it is the Mike Trout Mojo. Silver pack, 87 style. If you like 87 tops or vintage wax, you got to like that Mike Trout. We're already at 30 seconds to go. Two to Allen, five to James. It's Trout, gentlemen. James is at five. Six to Tim L. Tim is in the lead. Under 10 seconds to go. Eight to Jonathan. Five seconds. Done. Sorry, Tim. The buzzer had gone off. Jonathan gets it for eight. That's you gotta like that. That's a cool looking trout. Okay, if there's, give it to Tim and I'll pay the eight. All right. Well, Tim. It's going to you, courtesy of Jonathan H. Give it to Jonathan, and I'll pay the nine. Oh, my God. You guys are going to kill me.
Okay. Now, obviously, obviously, I don't want to uh, force the auction to drag on uh, endlessly. So, the only thing that I want to I want to put up next is if it's something that you guys actually have an interest in. Sounds good, Jonathan. I'll uh, I'll go through the list. Like I said, it, it's hard for me to keep track of stuff as it's going, so don't worry. Um, take care. Get some rest. You got Garrett Cole, Future Star, Austin Riley at a 25, Eloy Patch, Araldis Chapman Black, Eloy Prism, Bellinger Rookie, Acuna Rookie, Griffey Jr. at a score traded, Bellinger Rookie Debut Chrome, Chase Strumpf Auto, Otani Rookies for days, all the different variations, Jeter again, that card went earlier tonight, I didn't realize that I had both in there, Aaron Judge, Topps Chrome Rookie, Aaron Judge All-Star Game Rookie, Evan Longoria Atomic, Eloy Gold Rookie, Regular Tops, Judge Gold Card, Cody, 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 Ramon Laureano Rated Rookie. You guys know how much it killed me to put an A's card in there. Andrew Vaughn, Judge, Franchise Featured Numbered, Keston Hira out of 150, Michael Kopeck Auto, Zebra Style, Cody B, David Ortiz, numbered to 25, Schwarby Auto, Jeff McNeil, Patch. Got another Aaron Judge over here. Got a Clayton Kershaw, Refractor, out of Topps Chrome, numbered to 99. Judge, numbered to 83, Joey Votto, rookie. I've got, what else do I have over here? Otani Gold. I've got a sweet Derek Jeter. Hank Aaron Award. Derek Jeter, 150 years, numbered to 50. Derek Jeter Gold, numbered to only 50. Jordan Alvarez, Bowman, 30th anniversary. Aaron Judge Gold out of Ginter. That's a great looking Aaron Judge card. Nick Senzel to 99. I've got a Ty Cobb. Image variation, Juan Soto base rookie, Bo Bichette, 8,500 patches on that card, Chris Bryant, Bowman first, Acuna rookie, I've got Javi Baez rookie, Schwarby first Bowman, Vladdy Jr. tops pro debut, Javi Baez mini, I've got the Ozzy Albies, Colby Allard, Pipeline, another Cody Bellinger rookie card, Juan Soto rookie card out of fire, Luis Robert, Greg Maddox, 87 Fleer, and Ramon Laureano, black and white out of Stadium Club. That is a black and white SP, Laser Laureano. I don't want to turn this into a 15-hour auction. So if there's something that uh, tickles your fancy, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to save them for the next go-round with more stuff added in. Somebody let me know. Tim, I know you were kind of lurking in the background. Maybe there's something that uh, caught your eye. Anyone, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we've eclipsed the two-and-a-half-hour mark, and uh, I don't want everyone getting in trouble. So what say you, gentlemen? Numbered Big Poppy. This is David Ortiz. And I believe this is high tech. I just forgot the year. I think 18. So this is 2018. David Ortiz. Numbered out of 25. David Ortiz. Numbered out of 25. Jersey Bellinger rookie can go next. Time is running on David Ortiz, numbered out of only 25. Ten to Mitch.
Okay, after this one, uh, Mitch, you're in the lead at 10. I, I, in interest of fairness, I'm not going to change mid, mid thing, but um, I might reduce the time again, just so we're not sitting here for the next five hours. You guys get the idea. I feel like you either bid up front or you wait till the very end. Everything in between then is dead air. And uh, the goal should be to get your guys' cards across the auction block quickly. You guys get it. Three seconds. Easy peasy. Mitch, 10 bucks, takes it. Came out strong. Scared everybody away. Confused myself there. Okay, so uh, Tim, I'm going to respect uh, that Jersey had said Bellinger rookie ahead of time. Um, Jersey, I showed about 15 different Bellinger rookie cards. So I'm just gonna take a uh, just gonna take a stab in the dark and put one out or buy a new computer. I'm gonna put one out there that we don't see very often, uh, Jersey, which is the reason why it's in my possession because I thought it was cool. And that is the Bowman Chrome Cody Bellinger Rookie. And I'm going to reduce the time to 45 seconds. Let's be honest. We know we want it or we don't. No sense in it taking forever to come to that conclusion. Cody Bellinger, Bowman Chrome. Tom says five. Jersey says six. Tim L says seven. Clock says 10 seconds. I like how I did that. That was nice. So I got Tim and Dwight tied at seven. Tim L, you were the first. You were the first at seven. So Tim L, you get it for seven. And he says, give it to Jersey. So Tim, thank you, sir. Jersey, it has been done. And Tim, that's awesome of you, man. You guys are just the, the like, I, I don't even know how to explain it. You guys are just the best group of people that I feel like I've ever had the pleasure of meeting or being surrounded by. Okay, and this was the other one. He Tim says he'd been lurking long enough to know how it's done. Well, buddy, you're you're gonna fit right in around here with moves like that. But man, I know you guys all know you don't have to do that kind of stuff. That's so awesome. Okay, so here's another one, another one that was requested. And this is also out of 2018 tops. This is out of Series 2. You guys have seen how much Series 2 we've opened. You do not come across these SPs very often. That is a Ty Cobb image variation SP out of Series 2.
We're at 30 seconds already. Ty Cobb, image variation SP. Gonna slip away here, or I'll just pull it off, I guess, at 15 seconds. Eight to Tim, 10 seconds, Ty Cobb image variation. Done. Tim, it is yours. Thank you, Tim. That's a cool card. Despite what anyone thinks about Ty Cobb as a person, that man was one hell of a ball player, if not the best ever. Yeah, Tim, that's a great, it's just a great looking card. And we've talked about it before, Tim, if you were lurking at the time or when we've gone over it, but that right there, that's how card companies need to work the old legends into cards. Only SPs, make it rare, and uh, that's how we do it. And David Pert says Longoria... Let me grab the Longo. All right, you got to like this one, David. It is Topps Chrome. It is an atomic refractor. It is numbered out of only 225. That is a gorgeous Longo. Evan Longoria, 225. Do we want to put this on? If not this, then somebody else give me another card. Okay, so David started already. Okay, so David, you're at 10 on the long go. Obviously, I'll honor the bids. I'm just looking down right now, looking for that other Jeter uh, for Ron. 20 seconds. Ron, I'll find it for you. Three seconds, and then it becomes David's card. David's card. David Pert. David, am I saying am I saying that right? Is it Pert or Part like Heart? I, I feel like a, an idiot if I've been saying your name wrong this whole time. David, thank you. Unfortunately, due to internet lag, I probably asked like three different questions. So I'm not real sure which one you're saying yep to. I'll, I'll make it simple. Is it pert? Yes. Okay. <laughs> thank, thank you. Like Pert Plus. Okay, and Ron, that's the one you were asking about. So 
So Ron, Ron, um, Tom bought the other one at thirteen. Tom bought the other one at thirteen. I'll split the difference because I've done that in the past. If you bid eleven fifty, I'll refund him the dollar fifty. Otherwise, in the interest of fairness, I would say thirteen. So. So eleven fifty, Tom. I'm gonna refund you a buck fifty, or I'll I'll put it on your tab for next stuff. Okay. So Ron, eleven fifty. Tom, you got a buck fifty coming back, or Tom, if you want a pack of something, whatever the case may be, we'll make it work. It's not fair, so I have to I have to sleep at night. So. It is all good. It's the same thing I feel like I did with that. What was the other card? That Glaber. I can't. I can't let one person pay more than then. I just. I. I don't know. It's me. I'm weird. I. I gotta feel good about what I'm doing, and I'd feel like a real scumbag if I uh, charge people two different prices. Here, Tom. These aren't a buck fifty, but I know that you like them. Okay, I know that you like them, but they're not they're not necessarily a buck fifty. Do you want a pack of that 2019 Prism baseball? I know you you liked the look of the Prism baseball stuff. Would you want a pack of that? All right. You want a regular pack or do you want the uh, the bonus parallel pack? Uh, it makes no damn difference to me. Um, you've you've been hell. You've been with the channel since forever. Of course, I'm sure. Tell me which one you want though. the The parallel packs are kind of fun, but there's not autographs in them. Or you can roll the dice on regular. Regular. All right. Good, because that's what I had grabbed. All right. So here you go, Tom. That's why I don't have to refund you, and it makes everybody's life easier. So we got Chris Archer. Oh, we got one of those X-Fractor type cards, so that worked out well. Justin Smoke, who cares? Wade Davis, we're going to get to this last card. Check that out. Robin Yount. I'm going to call it an X-Fractor because that's Topps' lingo. And that's numbered out of 75, Tom. What a great-looking card. Robin Yount, X Fractor, numbered out of 75. Is that not a great looking? I get it. The you you non Panini guys, I totally get it. Can I send it to James? <laughs> you guys just keep you can't, I don't know. You guys never cease to amaze me. And you non-Panini guys, you're going to come around to the dark side soon when you realize just how nice they make their cards. So James, if you're still out there lurking, James, you're getting yourself a numbered to 75 Robin Yount, courtesy of Tom. And we know you like Prism after that monster pull last night, Dwight. So cool. Yes. Um, Jersey, I, I know I, I feel like a broken record sometimes, but... I'm saying this like kind of as a courtesy of at Ron James via at Cormade and a few others I've failed to mention. Oh, gee. All right, I'll, I'll put it on there. It'll be a little pamphlet that'll come with that card, Tom. I feel like I, I'm saying this as a kind of a disclaimer so that nobody feels like I'm doing something unfair. And then I'll explain my rationale and you can either choose to agree with me or not. 
there's stuff that you buy because you want to collect it. And there's stuff that you buy that, hey, I mean, like, I can't get more cards if I don't have money to buy the card. So some stuff is investment and basketball stuff. I don't plan to hold on to it. So it's pure investment on my end. So if today a box sells for 200, I'd sell it for 200. But if tomorrow it sells for 250, then tomorrow I'm selling it for 250 because otherwise it wouldn't make any sense. And for people that are out there that get all like uh, all crotchety about uh, people selling stuff for too much money, I would I would tell them grab the best card you've ever pulled out of one pack and then divide that pack up by the 10 cards in that one pack. And I'll give you the 47 cents that, that, you know, that Zion silver cost. And if you won't sell it for, you know, a buck 27, then you're doing the same thing that I would be doing if I sell something for, you know, the going rate. It just, it doesn't make sense. Um, if stuff is rare, it's rare. And that's the whole that's the whole thing that baseball cards are built on, right? Is rarity and value associated with rarity. And right now, Prism basketball is crazy rare. The end. Um, and if people don't like it, you know, I don't know what to say. You know, like they're just, I guess, I don't know, just mad to be mad, but it doesn't make sense because. Same logic, right? Whatever. So, no one told me there'd be math. I'm already done. Math lesson over. Okay. So, last call for every Zion there was 100 minimum silver. Forget about it. Yeah, exactly. You know, and they all come out of a pack just like everything else. So, it is what it is. I'm going to do last call on um, short, uh, whatever I'm timing, 45-second auctions. Last call on that. And then otherwise, I went over my, uh, my self-imposed time limit already. It was. And Tom, I've got a ton of old basketball cards. Um, I don't really know what to do with them. Maybe I'll sell them, but it'd be kind of like more for nostalgic reasons than anything. You know, Jason Kidd, rookies and stuff like that. It's early here in New Jersey. It's only 1015. eighty six Fleer. I have some, uh, Tom. Oh, wait. If we're talking basketball, no. Uh, no, Alan. Um, Alan, all auction cards ship out with uh, packs with friends slash Patreon packages stuff to keep the shipping costs down. It just makes way more sense, especially with the way that the auctions are done on the other weeks. So. In a couple of weeks, you'll get uh, an email and it'll say, hey, you owe four bucks or whatever the case may be. All right. And Ron says, totally lost track. Going to send you 100, whatever I'm over. I'll take packs of 19 Gypsy Queen for the next packs with friends. Sounds good, Ron. Appreciate it. And sorry. <laughs> sorry if you felt like I was beating you up with all those Yankees cards. I just... That's what I was coming across. So I kept putting them in there. And then I, I realized after the fact that, holy crap, I got a lot of Yankees cards. So sorry. Sorry about that. I did not mean to target you. I never mean to do that. And great weekend, everybody. Time to pay the man. Thank you. And G Dwight, was this last shipment sent out of the Patreon package or just cards? No, it had Patreon in it because um, I got to get you the Patreon packages within the month that it was so It'll have your Patreon stuff in there. And Dwight, because you had more stuff and it took longer to package, I pretty much everything up until the day it went out is in there. Even the most recent of recent breaks and auctions was all in yours. So you're good to go. And thank you, Alan. And 
Yep, Tommy, if you can't be around during the week, next weekend. Um, those of you that are still here, and there's still 23 of you, um, I was talking to uh, talking to Mrs. G about, yes, sir, you got those Zions. I'm sorry, you got those Aussies coming. And yeah, Barry, I saw on your video, you got your Zions. They're great looking, man. I have that, I have that zil silver draft Zion. Um, I have that silver draft Zion that that thing's going up in value. Don't know what to do with that. Um, probably take offer, I guess, on that. Jersey, who do I thank for the additional Bowman pack? And same um, same answer for Barry. I know, Barry, when you got to that Bowman pack, you were kind of curious. Jonathan bought the heavyweight. Jonathan bought the yes. Um, yes, Dwight, to that question somewhere in there. Um, like I said, with basketball, I'm going to take whatever, whatever is the going rate minus some. Because if I sell it to you guys at auction, I'm not going to pay the eBay fees. So if it's going for 120 on the high end and eBay takes whatever 10%, I might as well sell it to you for 108 and save us both money. Um, the additional Bowman pack came from Jonathan H. Jonathan H. bought the heavyweight tier and he was buying it more in the sense of a donation to the channel. He did not want all of the packs, so I added some packs to make it an even 15 new packs, and we did a big, massive giveaway. So everyone that got a 2019 Bowman pack, that was essentially Jonathan's Patreon packs being divided up amongst you all in the form of a giveaway. So that answers that question. Um, Jonathan H is the one you want to, uh, point your thanks at for that. And that was also my answer to, um, more high dollar cards. Find what they go for on eBay, M remove the eBay fees. That's what I would ask from patrons and you guys. Seems like the most fair way to do it. I would... I would hope most of you would at least see the logic in it or think that that's fair. Anyway, people still in here um, planning a break for Wednesday. And thank you, uh, Barry, as well. Again, I know I, I said and I, I hate to be annoying about it, but thank you again for the uh, the videos and the video shout outs you guys do. Um Everything is word of mouth. I don't have time to be a, a pro at social media. So your guys' word of mouth really means everything to me and me and my wife for that matter. Um, so thank you again for that. Um, breaks for this week. I'm, I'm kind of getting to the stage of I really only want to offer what I already know you guys want. I don't want to be in the position of trying to push a product on people. So I have some cool stuff. I just don't know which one to put out there. And when I post a list of 15 different products, the people get so spread out that it becomes hard to fill any one thing. So if there's something you know you want, by all means, tell me now. And, um, I can better make the break appeal to you. I have some cool old stuff like that kind of uh, mid 2000s kind of stuff that we don't see very much and has some big cards in there. Can do that as a mixer. And uh, and Barry, yes, uh, good luck. I mean, obviously, I feel like that sounds self serving on my half, like, but. I mean, best of luck in whatever, you know, you're doing. I saw the boom box thing or sorry, boom bundles. Good luck, obviously, on that as well. So you guys saw like this stuff. We've got three boxes of, of the baseball pro prism, which I could see doing those just kind of standalone because the stuff is just so damn cool that comes out of it. 
but I'm not gonna, I don't want to force it. Any input on product you guys want to do? Yeah, logos. Um, I used the website is called Fiverr, and it's just a website full of graphic artists' jersey. But you kind of got to know what you want. Okay, I'll post a list maybe then of stuff that would be available. Um, not necessarily as a claim your spot. Um, I'll do that more officially, but I'll post a list kind of of what's available, let people respond, and then we'll go from there. Hopefully that sounds good. Junk wax era, but don't think it would be a good you know what would be good content, Jersey, is I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw a guess out there. I'm, I might be wrong, but I want to say, Jersey, that it is it it it's 1991 upper deck low and there's a Michael Jordan SP in that um in that product that is a great card one of the first ever SPs 1990 score has the Bo Jackson shoulder pads black and white card that's a cool junk wax hunt um it's got the candlestick black and white card as well. That's a cool one. Um, there's some cool junk wax stuff out there that's good, cheap, fun. Like a like a college date. Yeah, well, junk wax prices are going up and up because everyone's kind of doing the same thing, right? They're all buying up junk wax and then selling it. Just bought the Bo Nose card on auction. The The Bo Jackson shoulder pads card and the Michael Jordan SP card were one of the first cards I did just like personally hunted for when I got back into the hobby, Dwight. So that was a great looking card. All right. Everything that we didn't sell tonight is just going to go to the next auction. We're already at three hours. It's Sunday. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out of here. Yep, yeah. uh, Ron, same here. Uh, got the kids' bedtime and all that kind of stuff uh, right around now. So shoulder pad card. That card's great. All right, guys, I'm gonna get out of here. Thank you for everything tonight. I think that was a great auction. We went through a ton of cards pretty quickly. From now on, that's the way that the auctions are going to work. Uh, a minute per card is, I mean, you've seen it tonight. A minute per card is plenty. You, you want it or you don't want it. And if you, if you're uncomfortable with that, I 100% understand, but that is just the way I'm going to do the auctions moving forward. It's the only way to get through that many cards, um, without it taking 10 hours. So that's where it's at. Hopefully you can at least understand, um, the logic behind that decision, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep changing it because that just becomes confusing. And then people think I'm playing favorites for people or whatever. Anywho, have a good night guys. Thank you for everything. You guys are awesome. I could sit here and say that a uh, hundred times. Um, you guys really just are the best group of people. I, it's unbelievable how generous and awesome you guys are. Um, not just to me, but to each other. It's, it's just, it's crazy. It's awesome. I love it. And, uh, it's why I'll keep putting out videos and stuff like this. Okay, guys, next week is 1599 tier guys. Uh, it's also Super Bowl Sunday. So that's just the way the calendar worked out. Um, anyway, have a good night. Have a good week. Look on Patreon for the break info for Wednesday, and I will see you all then. Take care and good night.